Hi Taurus, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma Lester. You're reading between 15 to 22nd of September. This is going to be a general message, so take what resonates. For more personals and more accuracy, reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. I also do white gray base spells for highest gear. And we have energized, pure, intention, charged, high vibrational, best quality gray crystals available and other remedies and solutions. Check out more on my Instagram. You uh, can also check out free predictions every month, September predictions very accurate and don't forget to like share subscribe and comment to this channel now let's see taurus what's happening sun moon rising or venus sign in taurus are dealing with well let's see the messages my dog got very excited uh since i started doing your read let's see he's barking okay so taurus what's happening here All right, Taurus, you're dealing with someone that could be more like bossy, rude, arrogant, can call them as narcissistic, but almost always unavailable for you. This is giving you anxiety and wondering, you're wondering like, why is this person uh, not being available for you when you need them? There's a feeling like they don't care about me. There's not enough love. This person is not giving me it as much as I deserve. You know, you have a lot going on in your mind about someone. You have started to make a decision. I feel like you're almost in this verge of leaving this person behind and moving on from this, uh, from this relationship, from this energy. You want to move on from this because you think that once I move on from this connection, you will find happiness, you will find satisfaction, your wishes will come true and you can go ahead for a new beginning in your life. Maybe this is an Aries or a Libra, but someone is causing you mental stress, anxiety. You want to come out of this energy. You're like wondering like how. You are almost in this energy to break free from someone because you're not liking this uh, controlling behavior. Uh, someone, when they feel like coming towards you, they come towards you when they're you know, doing something else. They just completely avoid you. So you feel as if the door is shut on you or very soon you might... Uh, you know, they might ghost on you have this feeling coming in and you have this fear also. That is why you're feeling anxious, you're worried and you want to make a quick decision so that you can stop this from happening any worst to happen. So you're moving towards a new beginning and you're very excited. Deep inside of you feel like once you get rid of this energy, you will feel happier because you will be in your own energy. You have no one controlling you. OK, you have no one pissing you off. You're in your own and you're you know, you can think about what you want to do or what you want to be in future. You will all by yourself. And that is something that you want right now. All right. The world. I'm definitely seeing a new chapter is opening in your life. And you're making a decision. You almost made a decision of letting this person go. With this, there's someone new coming into your life. This could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Maybe you've just met them. This has ignited a spark in you already, I feel. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, yes. I feel like this person is coming towards you with a passionate offer. They are thinking about you 24-7. They're coming towards you passionately. They want to start afresh with you. They want to start a new cycle, a new chapter with you. All right? But they're coming towards you passionately, I'm sensing. Yes. my gosh i felt so you have two new options coming towards you guys two new options so i feel like everything around you is changing things are not the same anymore you're attracting new love offers and you're very excited to see who is the one that is going to be your lifelong partner that wants to be in a lifelong relationship with you with I feel this could be a Taurus coming in, a Sagittarius coming in, but yes, a commitment is coming for you. A stable commitment, a lifelong commitment is coming for you. All right. 
So you're very excited. You're very excited. As soon as you get rid of this negative energy, you have options after options coming. Some of you are online, like reaching out or they're reaching out to you, but online. The three of swords. The king of wands. Oh my gosh. The ten of... Um, the seven of swords. The Ten of Swords. I'm seeing you rejecting some love offers. Yes. I'm seeing you rejecting some love offers. But there's this one person that will come into your life, Taurus, that is in your life that is, you know, attracting you a lot. But you know deep inside this person has started to lie to you or they're lying to you someone is lying to you i feel this new person is lying to you okay very soon you're going to reject this person also but you have emotions for them you have feelings for them you're attracted to them like let me summarize this for more clarity someone that you're already getting rid of extremely more extremely um cold uh dominating you're trying to get rid of that person, okay? After getting rid of that person, you have two new options coming in who might be coming in with marriage proposal, but you don't feel that attraction. You don't feel that attraction. Out of these options, one of them could be very rich, but you don't feel it. So you might reject those options. And then there will be a fourth person, you know? Then there will be one person that looks more promising initially to you, because you will get attracted to them. To be honest, you are attractive, Taurus, and you have met someone that is on the same page as you are. You will get attracted to this new person coming into your life. I feel like the seven of swords is like you'll figure out that this person is lying to you. So this might make you feel sad because you have to let them go for your peace, for your sanity. But I feel like you're letting someone go. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. For sure, you're letting someone go. So I feel the attraction will be there, but you'll find out that this person is not being honest. Not being honest, yes. We have the page of swords and the page of wands and the star card. I'm seeing this attractive person that you're letting go of may try to come back they want you i feel once you decide to stick to your self-respect and let them know that this is not gonna happen like you're crossing the boundaries they will realize that you're a person of self-respect they'll try to come back around i feel like this person's stalking you they will stalk you okay but things will move slowly like you're talking to this person but you're not giving them as much attention because for you your peace of mind, your self-respect, your career, and your life is more important these days. You will be more in your happy space. You will be more stable. So you're not looking for relationship being your priority, but you, you are open to love, but you're not making this your priority. You're feeling much more at peace these days. Taurus, Queen of Pentacles. I'm seeing your major focus is towards your career. But this person will feel what they did to you was not right. I feel like they'll feel like, they'll feel guilty. They'll try to come back. Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this person will try to come back. Whereas you, on the other hand, are focusing on your goals, are focusing on your money, balancing your life, balancing your career. I'm seeing a lot of growth in your money taking place. Okay? But I'm seeing a communication coming. Like this person is trying to communicate things to you, telling you that, oh, I think I made a mistake. Let's start all over again. This person wants to start all over again. Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups. 
Okay, then we have the seven of wands. My gosh, this person is trying to fit in your life. This person is trying to convince you to take them back. And this time they want to tell you that they won't make the same mistake. I'm not saying like they have fallen in love with you or you've fallen in love with them. No, it's the initial stage. But this one thing that they want to stay with you, they want to be with you is something that can take this towards real love, true love. They have been obsessively thinking about you. I feel like they've started to feel emotional. The more you push this person away, the more emotional they, this person gets. And the more they'll try to, uh, you know, win you, want you. Six of Swords. Even though it's difficult, I feel this person is still trying. You will take some time to decide. You're not sure whether you want to give this person a chance or not. You're not sure. You want some time to decide. I feel the less you react, the more this person is going to chase you. Cancer energy. The excitement is just growing on their part. They're feeling more and more excited about you. They want to date you. But when it comes to love, they still have a lot to realize. They still need time because right now they're attraction their focus is all you they want to be with you but when it comes to emotions you always feel like there's something missing there's something missing this person's not able to open up completely emotionally right now but there is a potential because when you guys approached each other it was more of a casual stuff or this person thought oh i'll be casual or this is just a friendship but the more you you know pulled away the more this person realizes that they do want your uh, friendship. They do want to be by your side. So that is why they're coming towards you. And they know that they want to be with you. But they're unsure when it comes to emotions. They're emotionally not there. Emotionally not fully available. So that might dissatisfy you. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. I'm seeing your career is doing very well. You're obsessed with your work. Right now, Taurus, work is worship for you and you don't want it to get affected because of these things. Because for you, these things have become petty and they have taken a back seat. You don't really value these things as much as your personal space, your personal freedom, your money, your growth, your happiness, your stability and your peace. Right now, your major obsession is about doing good in life for yourself. You want yourself to grow. You want to increase your wealth. You want to be attractive, look attractive. So your focus is towards building a career of your dreams. And I feel like you may be working a lot. This person feels you're too busy. They feel like your major focus is money. Your major focus is goal. Your major focus is you, but not them. So they might feel like you're too busy and you don't have time for this person. But this is also making them like you more. You might receive a good news regarding your promotion or a hike. Two of Wands. Oh my gosh, you have someone more, like one more person coming into your life, okay? You have one more person, so this might come off to this person as you being infidel right now, which is not true. I feel this person really wants your attention, really wants you to focus on them. But the thing is, initially only you saw their true colors and you lost trust, not interest, but you've lost trust somewhere. I feel like you're not very much sure you want to be with this person. So you're keeping your options open. You have a new love offer coming in. Seven of cups and the two of cups. So you will keep this person in on a standstill. You will keep the situation ship on a standstill because you have one more person coming into your life. So there will be two options, okay, which you will be deciding between. Yes, the lovers. Maybe a Gemini is coming in, a Cancer is coming in. Yes, Eight of Swords. Two of Swords. There will be a lot of confusion because you're not sure whether you do want to give them a chance or you want to give this new person a chance. So you're weighing which of these is better, which of these options is loyal. 
is going to stick around for lifetime. So you're trying to weigh the situation. You're trying to weigh these options. Okay. So this might take a lot of time and your person is feeling hung up on you. But in the end of the day, I'm seeing you getting married. I'm seeing you being in a happy ever after relationship. Whoever you choose, this person or the new person, I'm seeing you being in, an, in a happy ever after. Ten of Pentacles. Message, gift. I'm seeing this person wants to flatter you, compliment you with gifts so that you don't go anywhere. They know that you're like a free bird and you will make a choice that fits best for you and they don't want to lose you. So they will send you messages that make you feel happy, that impresses you, that, uh, you know, they want to carve their presence in your life, on your heart especially. This person might send you gifts as well so that you don't go anywhere, to be honest. Taurus. Yeah, I feel you will make this person wait because you're not able to decide whether you do want to give them a chance or you want to, you know, find someone new. You will keep the options open very soon. Keep an open mind, trust and express your love. You will see this person proposing you soon. They're falling in love, guys. Even if they are treating you whatever way, it doesn't matter right now. But the more you stick to your ground, to stick to your own desires and own belief what you want, they will finally open up to you and it's unexpectedly coming that you didn't expect this person to go so crazy over you. And I feel that is what is going to happen. You will be able to trust them. They will express their feelings real soon. All right. Now let's see all signs from Aries to Pisces. What does your person think and feel for you? Aries is want to take it slow, one at a time, but they want some time right now. They really don't want to ruin the harmony that is there between you guys. The Taurus is very excited. They're not thinking about the pros and cons. They just want to be with you. They want to have a relationship. The Gemini. And if this is you, Taurus, you're being happy alone. Like you're doing really well. Gemini wants marriage. Cancer is stressed out. I feel they're anxious because you're not talking to them. Leo. Leo is not able to decide. Maybe there is someone else also in their life. So they're deciding between the two options. Then we are having... Okay, Virgo. Virgo wants some time. They want to, you know, get to know you more. Spend some more time and see how things roll. Libra. Libra is hung up on you. I feel they're waiting on a yes from you. Or they're waiting on an answer from you. Scorpio. Scorpio is feeling blocked. They think you don't want them. They're going into that negative headspace. Sagittarius has a huge crush on you. They will be bombarding you with compliments. We have Capricorn. I feel like the Capricorn is very excited, but they're being cautious at the same time. They have trust issues or this person has someone from the past that you need to figure out first before you say yes. Aquarius. Aquarius is right now feeling uh, not so good enough for you. I feel they think that you're about their league. Why would you choose them? Or they just not able to say that they want to say like they have a lot to say, but they're fearful that you may reject them. So there is a fear of rejection over here. Pisces. Pisces has options. Like li they're literally talking to other people as well while they're being with you. So basically Pisces is looking for uh, true love. So maybe they haven't found yet or they're just trying to weigh which of these is better than the other. So this is about it, Taurus. I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful, beautiful reading. 
Do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. And let me know how this reading has resonated with you. Please come again for more. I'll see you back again. Bye.